I tell these bad bitches, accolades, got will sign, no cast away. I'm twice as good, get half the praise, there was sniper up and I blast. Hey guys, what's going on? Tanner here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get the Zombie Hunter Master Moving Calling Card on Black Ops 3. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So, we got Headhunter. The Headhunter, you have to get 500 zombies with a headshot. So that was pretty explanatory. I uh, Just aim for the head. Snipers help a lot in this one, but overall that one's pretty explanatory. Stab uh, 100 zombies, kill 100 zombies melee. Uh, that one's pretty self-explanatory. Start of the round. This one shouldn't take more than two or three games. Kill 100 crawlers, just chuck a bunch of nades, kill a bunch of zombies with nades, and then on top of that, use the ray gun at about round 13 plus, and you should get a lot of crawlers if you aim at their legs. Now we got power killer, kill 500 zombies with a pack punch weapon. Now this one, at first I was thinking uh, this one would be pretty easy, but if you really want to, um, there are a couple gumballs, uh, you do have to get them from um, a pack or whatever you want to call them, I don't even know, liquid divinium, there we go. But you can get a couple that help with this one as well. Then we have kill... 150 zombies with traps and let's trap he's artist this one is good for the giant you can use the little trap on the bridge that one helps a lot and if you don't have the giant yet uh you can on shadows of evil you could always just go in the rift and use the chain traps or whatever chain trap you like to use located around the area but that one's my favorite to use the one in the rift you just train them and bring them to there now we have the demolisher kill 200 zombies with explosives now this one uh, obviously use grenades, monkey bombs, uh, I don't think you can use little Arnie's, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, then you have the ray gun, which as always shouldn't be too hard. And then I believe the wonder waffle counts, and I think maybe the wonder weapon in Shadows of Evil. I'm not sure, though, don't quote me on that, but you can always just try it out. Five for one, this is pretty easy, just throw a monkey bomb, and you'll almost always kill more than five. Someone shouldn't be too hard. Then you got... These five, which are to involve the pack punch power-ups, whatever you want to call them. So I'll explain these. Now you got Blastsmith, Incinerate, 500 zombies with Blast Furnace. So what you're going to do for this one is train around the map. If you're playing on the Giant, you can train in the spawn area or around the power. That's where I personally like to train. And, or Shadows of Evil, you can do in the Rift, spawn area, wherever you personally like to. Just shoot one bullet and they'll all incinerate. That one's pretty self-explanatory. Now, down to the wire, uh, basically wherever you want to go in Shadows of Evil, it, it doesn't really matter. Uh... It's kind of personal preference and then i would recommend for the giant you should stay on the catwalk and just shoot the zombies right when they get up to the top of the stairs and whenever the zombies get to the top of the stairs then they'll be electrocuted uh, and deadwire will kill four zombies at one time it cannot kill more and it most likely won't kill less it usually kills about exactly four zombies every single time so that one just takes a bit of time that one's probably the hardest one to get but uh we'll get the next one let her rip uh, gun down 500 zombies with fireworks. This one's pretty easy. Uh, like I said before, Shadows of Evil, personal preference, wherever you would like to go. And then on the giant, stay at the top of the catwalk. Uh, as they get to the top of the stairs, uh, the gun will spin around. I recommend using a one shot gun, like a shotgun or a sniper for this one. So when the gun spins around, uh, it'll do more damage. And uh, then base boost, blow away 500 zombies with Thunderwall. Uh, this one, Shadows of Evil, I don't really know too many good spots. I would say just train around and you'll blow a few away every couple of shots. And then on the giant, just like always, the catwalk. The catwalk is one of the greatest zo zombie spots in all time. So, in all time. Yeah, that made sense. But, of all time, probably one of the best spots. And then we got Zacruder, which is turn 80 zombies, which I would say get turned. Whatever your turn zombie dies, get another one. Uh, if you really want to, I would try to get more than one gun. Maybe even get Mule Kick and get three turned guns. That would probably speed it up. But overall... Can just go wherever you want so hopefully this video helped if you guys have any questions on how to get any of these or any way to get them faster then forget to comment down below if this helped you don't forget to leave a like so if you guys are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one